they're really unaffected, unprecocious children, the two of them, F full of, you know, kind of mischievousness, and, and they're not in the slightest precocious, but they're so easily able to talk to you and, you know, and um, just be themselves. They're really special. Well, I am her commander and see in her the potential for somebody who would be very good, very good as a captain. And, you know, she's obviously going to... She's very daring and she dares to do things and is, you know, game for anything and fearless. And I think that you'd see that in somebody. It does improvise a lot. He does improvise a huge... Which I found before, that American cast often are able to do that. I I can't do that at all. But Josh is simply wonderful at it. Then he went on into a great spiel saying, what's your first name? Tracy, is it Tracy? You look like Tracy. <laughs> I mean, he, he's... Oh, he's... spectacular. Simply wonderful Foley. That's going to blow people's minds. Um, yes, he's a centaur, so he's very, very beautiful and has a shaved head and then his hair like a mane. And then um, he has... What he will have is the bum of a horse. Well, all, all the horse. And these wonderful shoes. The kitchen, well, you just, anybody would want it. It's simply wonderful. It's beautifully built. Hey, Lisa, here with a bonus movie fact. Did you know that the set for The Ten Commandments was buried underground for decades? Cecil B. DeMille, director of the 1923 film, thought the movie set, including 21 Sphinx replicas, was too valuable to let other filmmakers get their hands on it. He figured it was just cheaper to bury the set than to move it, and the artefacts remained underground near the California coast for 94 years before archaeologists found them in 2017. Do you like my shirt? You can get one for yourself in the link in the description.